And we're now here with Ayana, as well as civil rights attorney Janos Martan. Janos also worked for the transition team for Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for there's, having us. There's been a lot of talk on the politics surrounding this case. Some do share the opinion that we just heard in Ayana's reporting that the case against the former president is weak. Janos, I'll begin with you. What is your assessment having now read through this indictment? You know, I think what uh, D.A. Bragg was going for in the statement of facts and the indictment is telling a story that this is a historic prosecution, obviously the first time a foreign president's ever been criminally prosecuted, but in some ways it's also a prosaic prosecution, uh, falsifying business records, fairly common charge in New York State, in New York City, even in D.A. Bragg's office. And I think the statement of facts tries to tell a more compelling story about why this is essential uh, to bring this case. You know, this is ultimately, as the, the statement of facts put it, uh, unlawfully orchestrating a scheme with others to influence the 2016 election. That feels like a pretty big deal. On the other hand, the actual uh, charges are, you know, 34 falsifying business record charges. It's uh, in some ways pretty routine. Um, but yeah, there are legal complexities here. I don't think this is a slam dunk case. Uh, but I think some of the, the legal chatter we've heard over the last couple of days have gone too far in either direction. Um, just because some of the legal aspects of the case in terms of connecting falsifying business records to a campaign finance violation are not super well-trod ground uh, doesn't mean that this case is not going to succeed. It does mean, I think, though, that there will be a lot of um, legal motions filed and, and a lot of debate in the next couple of months. Well, and that hits on my next point, Ayana. I'd love for you to address this next court date for Mr. Trump is in December. I think we're going to see a lot of legal wrangling behind the scenes, maybe the, the defense team trying to punch holes in the case. What are we going to see in the next few months leading up to December? Lots of motions filed. The former president's legal team has said that they plan to file a motion to dismiss the case. They just simply think that there's not enough evidence to support this indictment. And we also may see them push to have a venue change. The former president has said he doesn't believe he'll be able to get a fair trial in Manhattan. He believes, his legal team believes, perhaps he might find a more sympathetic or more uh, unbiased jury rather in Staten Island. And how much do you think, Ayana, how much the president's rhetoric, his family's rhetoric, his, his two sons posting a picture of the judge's daughter online, how much of that will impact what happens in the next court date? It, it could certainly impact what happens in the next court date. Uh, the judge had given a warning to the former president to be careful and to monitor what he says. And so if the rhetoric continues to be turned up, um, we could perhaps see a, a gag order issued in the case. Certainly the judge did not want to go anywhere near that during the initial arraignment, but we have several months until the next court date. So we'll have to monitor and follow and see how the conversation goes. Giannis, lawyers for the former president have said publicly they do not believe this case will even get to the jury stage and in the same breath say Mr. Trump will fight and not take a plea. So how could this case fall apart? Will it fall apart? Or are we looking at a real jury trial? Well, the important date for us all to keep an eye on before December is August 8th. That's the date that the judge has set for motions to be filed. And like any any good lawyer in this situation is going to file a motion to dismiss. That's absolutely their right. It's absolutely the posture any good lawyer would be taking at this stage of a case. They do have some grounds that are stronger than others. I presume that they're going to go after the the campaign, federal campaign finance uh, violation not being something that can be involved in this case to bump into a felony. I'm sure they'll raise statute of limitations issues. They may, uh, as Ayanna said, look for a venue change to Staten Island. I don't see that as particularly viable. So they're going to be throwing a bunch of darts at the wall and seeing uh, which ones hit. Um, and that will be have to be done by August 8th. So uh, if they win, uh, you know, the case could be dismissed. I find that a little bit unlikely, but. Um, you know, as I mentioned before, some of these legal issues are complicated and definitely not slam dunks for the Bragg administration. Um, but they'll obviously, I, I just don't think they would have brought this case if they were unprepared for the predictable arguments that the Trump team is going to be making. All right. Pure politics now from both of you, beginning with Ayanna. Former President Trump looking to get back in the White House. Will this help or hurt Ayanna? Yes and no. I think it'll help in the short term. We've seen multiple Republicans come forward to express their support of the former president in this moment. So it could help boost the former president in a Republican primary, but it may pose a challenge if he does win the primary once he gets to a general election, when he has to, you know, win over the votes of Republicans, Democrats, and independents, Henry. Giannis, very likely this does play out during the primary cycle, perhaps the general election cycle, but that would be quite a ways away. Help or hurt? What do you think? I think it has to hurt from the point of it being a distraction to the Trump team. Um, you know, we there, 
with the December return date, I think there's almost no way that this case wraps up during the primary season. You also have the federal investigation to Trump, the Georgia investigation to Trump, uh, Attorney General James, tax investigation to Trump. All these things are going to be swirling and affecting his, his focus and his time um, at, at the very moment where he'll be in a very competitive uh, primary and obviously if he wins a very competitive general election. Ayanna, I'll give you the last word real quick. I know you were chatting with reporters around the country this week as part of our, our, uh, our coverage. What did they want to know about this case? I think they want to know sort of what's next and also I think reporters around the country are also interesting to see what the timing will be for the Georgia case. That case has some very serious uh, substantial allegations against the former president and so we're waiting to see what's next. I think there's a sense that now that the former president has been indicted once and it's it's happened you know what other cases may come next and they may come quickly Ayana Yanos thank you both for coming on picks on politics have a uh, great morning thank you you too